Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna be sharing why you should or should not go to computer science school. Now, this is from my perspective, my life. Your life is different, but hopefully some of my insight could help you make a good decision. So hopefully you're excited, and if you enjoy the content, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell. That makes sure you get my new content, sort of. So thank you, and I'll see you uh, in the next one. Hello everyone, this is Aaron, this is Caleb, and today we're gonna to be talking about computer science school and whether it's a good idea or a bad idea. But ultimately it comes down to do whatever you feel like doing because I'm not here to tell you what to do. So I've created content before about whether you should do computer science school or university in general, and my stance is that yes, there's good certain situations to do that, but there's also situations when it might not be the best idea. So we're gonna be talking about when it might not be the best idea and in what circumstances would it be best to pursue a degree in computer science. Sound good? Mm -hmm. So by doing this, we're going to address some comments I've received on this channel. That most of them are just mean, but whatever. We're, we're gonna try and focus we'll try on to the We'll try to word it so that it's ones. not mean because, um, so let me just say, if you have something like a critique or like you don't agree with something, it's fine to leave a comment, but the problem is that most people out there will like make it so mean and nasty and just terrible that it's like why would I care what you have to say? Moving on. So I'm just gonna start reading some comments. I don't have any of them prepared so I'm just gonna kind of like scroll through, we'll probably read a bunch of nasty ones but hopefully we'll come across some good ones. <laughs> so ultimately my stance is that you should not study computer science if it's not a subject you are passionate about or could become passionate about. Aaron for example, I'm gonna be using you as the non-techie person if she went to computer science school, she would condemn her life to misery. Would you agree with that? Yep. Were you, were you, were you even listening? <laughs> no, I heard <laughs> it. It's, I mean, I'm trying to do both. But. So when I say, hey, person, you should not go to computer science school, and they say, oh, but computer scientists make so much money and blah, 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 or whatever. It's a good career. You can always get a job. These things are all true, but if you hate it or you're terrible at it, it might not be the best thing to pursue. And that's logical. I've talked about why you should not study computer science, and I've listed various reasons. And then people assume, oh, you should never study computer science? That doesn't even make sense. I studied computer science. I have a bachelor's degree in computer science. And I've said that in my previous videos, and then people still are like, what the crap? So I don't know. <laughs> people only hear what they want to hear. Yeah. So. There's a lot of people that are saying like, you can't tell me what to do, or people saying, don't watch these videos because you need to make your own decision. So ultimately, yes, it is your decision, but I would highly recommend you watch people's videos on why or why you should not do something. Not so much to justify what you wanna do, because if you wanna do it, whatever, go do it. But to see different perspectives and to see the success people have had with a particular choice. That's a good thing to do. So the comments that say, oh, don't watch these things, just do what you want, that's kind of stupid because you're not putting the research behind your decisions, and ultimately that's how you make bad decisions. So personally, do you think computer science is a good degree to get? Of all the degrees, I think it's the best, to be honest. So I think that's one thing that a lot of people are going to confuse with. They think you're saying computer science is terrible, don't get a computer science degree. I think that's where people are confused, yeah. and you think it's awesome. Yeah. Well, I study computer science. The content on my channel is computer science, right? So I'm going to be talking about computer science because I don't know about archaeology and if that's a good decision or not. People are, are assuming that when I say maybe you shouldn't study computer science, they think I mean instead of studying computer science, go study art or something else. That's not exactly what I'm saying because I don't have that full perspective. Rather, you should just compare whether you should study computer science to a boot camp or just jumping into the industry right away or whatever it might be. So basically, also some people are claiming that Caleb is saying that you shouldn't do computer science because it's too hard. The content that he's saying, I think for the multiple videos that he's done, is saying that be warned, it is hard and you have to put the time into it to be able to succeed. He's not saying don't do it because it's hard. He's saying you need to make sure that you're not going to quit. <laughs> yeah. Right, because it's kind of like if you think of math, which is similar in nature to computer science, but not exactly the same thing. But sometimes you have to think the same way. If you went your entire life and you never did a single thing relating to math, you never learned how to add or multiply, 
and then you jump into college in a, in a mathematics program, you're gonna get slaughtered. But when it comes to computer science, people assume they can go their entire life never learning a single line of code or how to do anything with programming, and then they jump into a computer science program, they say, oh wow, this is too hard, I can't figure it out in two weeks, I quit, this is stupid, it's a bad decision. And no wonder, because you didn't build up the skill to make it possible. <laughs> this person's even, I think this is the big problem with these type of videos, is that somebody's like, even before the video starts, I already picked computer science, so it's too late for you to prevent me from taking it. <laughs> that was not the point of the video. I'm not trying to prevent anything. I think <laughs> most people come and this video, and they didn't even watch it. Yeah, because people want to find videos that justify their choices. It yes. has nothing to do and, with uh, whether they want to go or not. You can't. You gotta watch the video first. Just saying. Okay, so this person's quoting you. Apparently said, you don't need a degree, especially for something like computer science. Wow, you quoted a quote, and I totally agree with myself. And he said, you shouldn't, or he or she, I don't know. You shouldn't need a degree, but you really do. The same people who tell you to learn to code also write job descriptions that require at least a bachelor's degree in CS or related field. So do you need it or do you not need it? Do you need it or do you not need it? Ah. Ultimately, the answer is no, you do not need it. Will it open more doors? Yes. Don't need it. Like, people are like, yes, you need it to be able to get a good job. But that is just not the case. You got a job before you were even in computer science school. All right. But the selection is going to be tighter. You're not going to be able to just get any job. Does that make sense? Yes, that's true. Yeah, I agree with that. So if you want to postpone your career four to five years to go get a computer science degree so you can get a specific type of job rather than a different one, then maybe, yeah, go do that. And that's fine if that's what you want to do. If you have a job goal in mind and you're like, I need to get here and it requires a degree, then go get a degree. That's fine if that's your path. But some people are self-taught and they're really great at programming and they just need to figure out creative ways to share that and to build their own resume so that, I mean, yeah. I mean that's kind of how you started though. And it's like... Caleb just I, I proves that you really don't need one. A lot of people think that's the only way in life you have to have a degree. That's it, which is not the case. If the average degree takes four years, as an example, which I think is normal for computer science, imagine and during those four years, you're investing a ton of money into that degree, which I haven't even started talking about that. It's expensive. Instead, what if you spent four years learning to code yourself and doing projects on Upwork or part-time jobs at local charities or whatever it might be to build up a portfolio and a set of skills. Would you come out after those four years with more valuable skills than if you went through a computer science degree where 50% of the content is going to be math, writing, or whatever it might be? That's for you to decide if you need that structured four-year program to be well-rounded and to have the guidance on what to study then by all means, go for that. But realize you're gonna to have to make a lot of sacrifices with your time and your money. We ultimately decided that it would be best for me to go get my computer science degree because of a few very important reasons. One, I was able to do it fairly cheaply. Mm -hmm. um, with scholarships, I paid very, very little for my degree from a private school. Two, I was young and I was not well established in my career so by going to finish a degree, I wasn't sacrificing a lot. Three, I worked during my career, which a lot of people don't do, so they waste four years of opportunity of skill. I was able to build that skill and finish my degree, so therefore I got the best of both worlds. Oh, okay, that's a good one, all right. All right, so I made a kind of a joke. In a people don't get jokes, <laughs> it is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Humor is a lost art. Maybe I'm just not funny. That's probably what it is. People think I'm serious. I mean, I compared going to school to watching Netflix. Like, which would you want to do? Why would you go to school when you need to stay home and watch Netflix? And although that was probably the ter most terrible comparison, the point behind what I was saying was that by going to school, you're sacrificing time to do things you enjoy. So should you not go to school to stay home and watch Netflix? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> That's not what he meant. <laughs> Understand the principles behind what I'm saying. There's opportunity costs, which is the, the word to describe what you're giving up to take the opportunity of going to school. I have a question. 
So. so what about like coding camps and that kind of thing? That's not really like getting a degree, but you can get a job that way, right? There are coding camps out there. You don't even have to pay for unless you get a job earning a certain amount after graduating the coding camp. So if you want to have a low to no risk option, go through a coding camp with some kind of guarantee and you'll come out probably with a job. Is coding camp the best solution in all scenarios? No, there's no best solution for all scenarios except learning how to code, which you can do in numerous different ways. But once again, here's our point. Do you need a degree to get a job in computer science? Yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, Caleb, that's not what I meant. <laughs> so I like how this person said this. Um, kind of just saying, wrapping up kind of what you said. They said that, like every other career, don't go into computer science or coding if you're only in it for the money. There's so many free resources out there on how to learn computer science and programming. Another thing with that is you might not know if you're passionate about it until you start doing it. So there is kind of like this risk with just going and having no experience. So maybe try some simple programming or coding or app development or whatever you want to call it before going into a university program. Because in the university program, you're going to have to do stuff like checking if a number is a palindrome or however it's pronounced or doing like simple algorithms or advanced algorithms. But sometimes they miss the point of teaching you to have fun building applications that are cool so maybe try doing some of that stuff before you get into a university program and see if there's even a remote possibility you might be interested in it doing it full time. Because me, who actually enjoys coding, has had numerous times where I'm like, oh, I hate coding. Because the stress and the mental capacity required to do it good is very high. This guy says, I don't even know what I learned in three years of computer science. <laughs> yeah, there's people I sat by who were watching sports or playing video games during a class. Not and saying that you did that. There's, there's, a, high, there's a high chance you did, <laughs> but we don't know. Uh, yeah, there's a high chance you're gonna go through your whole curriculum, waste, waste, depending on what you do with it. In this situation, you'd be wasting four years, a ton of money, and come out really not knowing much more than you did coming into it in the beginning. <laughs> It's kind of sad, but it happens. I think that does happen to a lot of people because they think that the degree is what's going to get you the job so that you can just slack all throughout school and you have a piece of paper now so you're going to get whatever job you want. Yeah, it doesn't really work bonus, that way. Right? You have to like really put time into it to actually learn what yeah. they're teaching you. Like I knew I was the best software developer in the world. <laughs> Having that, that degree was a bonus to the company and for my security. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't building my foundation of getting a job based on that that piece of paper. I was just going to say, just so everybody knows, that first part was a joke. Yeah, see, I don't know if you guys <laughs> understand jokes. So now you're going to get a bunch of comments saying that oh, you're the conceited. Best, so. and <laughs> yeah, well, I am, so deal with it. So this dude says, I absolutely agree with what you're saying, but that applies to all fields and jobs in general. A job is a job while what you enjoy doing is not a job. So I kind of get what this person is saying, but there are degrees out there that more people are likely to enjoy and get value from, uh, where computer science is a very specialized skill and a lot of people are not gonna like it. I mean, just to be honest. So there might be more opportunities for enjoyment with other career paths, I'm just guessing. Computer science is not programming. This is like, it's like dividing a piece of paper in half. Like they're pretty much, you're, you're not gonna go through a computer science program without programming. And that's just fact of the matter. This guy says, I regret taking computer science. I absolutely despise programming in a university, blah, 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 blah. So this is what I was kind of saying. He jumped into the career program without any experience and realized he hated it. Dun, dun, dun. So again, <laughs> try to get some experience before going into university. I really doubt this guy even finished CS. Did you finish? I did. Oh. Whoop, whoop. I don't get how someone can be like, I doubt this dude finished CS. 
when in the video I'm like, yeah, dude. <laughs> because they didn't watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of that, I have like a thousand programming tutorials. Yeah, they're not all the world's most amazing videos in the world, but they're all pretty good. Okay, how many videos you got? Yeah. Idiot. That, that was a comment. <laughs> Why would anyone care about the opinion of a person that has no serious amount of experience? Okay, yeah, I'm not a 50 year old programmer who's programming in VBA. Which um, is a positive in my opinion. <laughs> right, so it's all subjective. Does the amount of years you have prove how experienced you are or do you just have 20 years doing the same thing every day for your whole life? versus someone who's had a variety of different jobs and a variety of different programming languages, like moi. I woke up mad at the world, so apologies if I was like really preaching it today, just. I mean, I think this, the whole point of this video is to kind of share though, so yeah, it's fine. Stop seeing things so black and white. And so this is literally all we have for this video today. Um, just, yeah, next we week just kind of wanted to just sit and talk Next week will be a little bit more meaty. Um, we have a guest speaker, so another YouTuber. Yep, so make sure you come back in next Tuesday. And yeah, that's all. So thank you for watching today. And yeah, <laughs> hopefully that helped with something. Our endings are always so awkward. <laughs> so should you study computer science? It's up to you. <laughs> I did, so. I wouldn't study computer science. I would. Would you? Each their own. Would you? <laughs> I was just giving my perspective. Everyone's different. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching. <sighs> Peace out and subscribe. Bye. I'm going to go do some yoga or something to <laughs> chill. Thank you again for watching. Let's have some positive discussion in the comments section below about whether or not computer science is a good decision. And uh, yeah, thank you. And be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. And the next video like this will be out next Tuesday, so come back. Peace out.